Greetings. If you're watching this, it's probably because you're interested in this book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Um, so I, I'm going to um, read this book and then sort of give you my random thoughts and opinions um, on each chapter as I go through. Um, and at the end, we'll have a nice little, uh, nice little summary. Um, I should note that this is in no way intended to replace the book, uh, merely to be a supplement or you know, just it will help me remember if I go through the process of documenting and uh, summarizing um, everything that's in the book. So th this is a vehicle for me to remember. And if, if you happen to actually be listening to this, then it's a vehicle for you to uh, hear my thoughts on it and get a quick little summary. So. Uh, okay, so in the introduction, uh, the, the, the author is introducing us to what she calls the KonMari method, which is a, a, a reversal and a conjoining of her, uh, of her first and middle name, her first and last name. Uh, essentially, this boils down to uh, throw out all the crap you don't really need and organize it and be done with it in one fell swoop. Um, in the introduction, she takes great pains to tell us a lot about... Um, her her practice uh she she claims that, that she has a has an extensive waiting list of people who wish to see her and that she's had zero people come back uh, to to she has a zero recidivism rate um which uh, could be true but th there does seem to be a fair amount of puffery in the introduction um also amusingly she she shares with us um some some testimonials uh, that she has from her clients and so some of these make sense. Um, after your course, I quit my job and launched my own business doing something I dreamed of doing ever since I was a child. Solid. Uh, your course taught me to see what I really need and what I don't, so I got a divorce. I'm not sure what these have to do with organizing necessarily, but uh, someone I've been wanting to get in touch with recently contacted me. Now, this one, I have no idea what that has to do with anything. Uh, it seems like a coincidental, it, it's an odd thing to in, in, add to your testimonials. Um, my husband and I are getting along much better. That's solid. I finally succeeded in losing 10 pounds. Again, I I think the, the, the premise she's getting at is that essentially that, that by tidying your space, you're tidying your life and therefore you can focus more on the things that are important. That's fine. It just seems to be somewhat lost in translation. Okay. So chapter one, why can't I keep my house in order? Um, the, the first note I would make about this chapter is that it, it is surprisingly, surprisingly fragmented. Each, each chapter is broken up into sections of, you know, one or two pages at the most that, 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 that cover, it cover a particular topic, but the I don't, the topics don't have any real sense of organization to them, which is unusual for a book about organization. Um, so I have tried to boil them down thematically into into sections that, that I think reflect what the author is trying to say. Um, well, one thing she uh, she hits on is that uh, uh, conventionally people are told that. Um, Tidying just something that you should know how to do. You should know you should know how to, to to keep things tidy. But but really, it's not that simple. There is a method to it that that has to be learned, and that's what she's trying to teach you. Um, also, that very popularly, um, we're told that we, we shouldn't we shouldn't go at things all at once. That that it's it's destructive to attempt to tidy up the world in, in one fell swoop because you're just going to be so tired at the end of it that. Your eyes will be glazed over and then you won't want to do anything for a month and you'll just be right back where you started. She argues that, uh, that that's actually a fallacy and that you need to tidy up all at once so that you sort of get that that, that impression of, wow, this is the th I tidied up and now, holy crap, my life has changed and evoking that emotional visceral response will be sufficient to, to, to make you stay tidy, which I think is a reasonable is a reasonable ish assertion. Um, I, yeah. Uh, one, one quote from the text that, that illustrates this most potently tidying brings visible results. Tidying never lies. The ultimate secret of success is this. If you tidy up in one shot rather than little by little, you can dramatically change your mindset. A change so profound that it touches your emotions will irresistibly affect your way of thinking and your lifestyle habits. 
Um, she also goes on to talk about um, some, some common traps. Uh, the, the one that, that, that strikes me as most potent is the idea of, of you know, organizers. You, 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 so if you have a bunch of stuff, so you're going get to get organizers and little goo to, to to keep it all. You're going to take the crap you don't need and you're going to put it in, in boxes and things that are specifically designed to, to contain that thing. But really, that, that's just an illusion, according to the author. It, it's just... It's just a way of tricking yourself into thinking you're tidying when in actuality you're just you're just tricking yourself. So um, other methods I'll also tell you to go slow and you know throw away one item a day, but in actuality you, you bring in more than one item a day typically, so you just end up going nowhere. Um, and f- finally, uh, in this chapter, the author tells us that the the the, the, the what she's going to teach us, we should not try to adapt to our own personalities. That the people tend to think that they have some you know, vast personality where they're, they're, they're just not tidy, that they just can't do it. When in actuality, they're only really, according to the author, two different two different sets of problems. Either either you're a person who can't throw things away when, when they should be thrown away, or you're a person who once who who can throw things away but they never put stuff back where it belongs so so you end up in this endless cycle of putting things back in the place that that uh that that you had previously previously designated um and of course the third would be the the hybrid of those two and she says that th- those are essentially the only two problems you need to solve regardless of what your personality type is so and there chapter 1 closes so that that is the summary uh, so far. It seems like a reasonably solid thing. It, it, as I said, it's a little disheveled and, and repetitious. Um, it, I've also sifted out a bunch of a uh, bunch of information about the the author's life and you know how when she was five she was reading books about organizing and uh, all that's been sifted out of my my summary. I did not attempt to um, encapsulate that, so that's why you go buy the book instead of listening to my random summaries. But um, so I'll be back in uh, well, a day or two with uh, chapter two and we'll continue from there. But until next time, happy reading.